Tampa Tampa mother was killed by her boyfriend, John McQueen. Now he is on trial for her murder. Fox 13's Gloria Gomez explains tonight how prosecutors used his chilling words against him. Greetings and welcome back once again. This is Amuna. This is Noteworthy. We act with a purpose. I just came across this um, news report uh, from a week ago. And I contemplated whether or not I wanted to comment on it. But I do. So we're going to listen and then we're going to have a little discussion. Just did it to shut her up. She was going to try to make my life a living hell. I told her, I'll kill you. You keep bothering me. I'll kill you. And he did. Wait, pause. We're dealing with a lot of conversation around women shouldn't talk. Your voice is not important. And in this case, the quote, the outtake that they took from this man is, I did it to shut her up. Right? And that she was going to make my life a living hill. So he did it to shut her up. There's some people who are promoting at this time um, emotional or mental retribution for someone speaking, a woman speaking who has no place to speak. And we're not considering the mental state of many people who would take it beyond just a thought process or an ideology to actually physically act something out that's going to take the life of someone. So this is this. I, I said, you know what? I want to talk about this because we have to look at the weight, the gravity of our words and the things that we tell people and the thought processes that we try to propagate in the earth and not realizing that those things actually have real life consequences. It. Lead prosecutor Aaron Hubbard says John McQueen is a cold-blooded killer who thought his girlfriend, Kalena Atkins, was a problem, so he got rid of his problem. She tried to scream when I first put my hands around her neck, which made me squeeze tighter. Wow. That's the graphic evidence the jury heard during McQueen's murder trial. You swear or affirm any testimony you give in this proceeding will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. They also heard from McQueen's now ex-wife. She was married to him at the time of the murder and says that day McQueen called her and confessed. He told her the two were arguing about a tattoo McQueen has of his wife's name. Atkins wanted it gone. You know, Mr. McQueen? So we're looking at issues that arise in relationships and marriages and communication. So if you, without effective communication, without problem resolution, without counseling, without um, someone to hear both parties out, people get frustrated and they take things into their own hands. So we're going to continue to listen, but I just wanted to stop along the way because... <laughs> Um, he's my husband. She told the judge about it during a bond hearing nearly two years ago. He said that um, that she tried to come in with a knife because she was going to carve his name, my name, out of his arm. He said that he, he finally snapped. The defense echoed that same theme. They argued he snapped. This wasn't premeditated first-degree murder. They pushed for a lesser charge. Of so she's coming. This is what she's dead. So she can't tell us. We only have his words. And what he told him is because she's dead, right? So she cannot speak. This is just one witness that she was going to carve his name out of her hand. So she's using violence in his testimony to try to deal with a matter that pre-existed before her. If the name was on his arm, that was before they met. So the argument seems that it has to be a bit more than that. Because when you met this man, her name was on his arm, right? But she's not here to tell the story, is she? Second degree or manslaughter. In your mind, give Mr. McQueen the same dignity and think of him as a human being, as a man, as a man who is presumed innocent. But that was a tall order since McQueen confessed to the whole thing. Prosecutors say he had no regrets. Wow. In fact, he gloated about it. I knew she was going to keep f***ing with me. You can only poke the bear so much. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. Now, after hearing all the testimony today, the jury returned a verdict, and that verdict, we understand, is guilty, in fact, of first-degree murder. McQueen will now be sentenced next month. So, what happened to breaking up? You knew you did it. He, he, he's like, forget all the defense. He did it, and, I, and he did it because he knew she was going to creep. What happened to breaking up? 
apparently if you're going through a divorce with the wife then and apparently something came to where it's not working why did you feel that the the the, the go-to was to not only be violent against this person but take their life that you didn't grant them so i i, I said you know what i'm gonna this is noteworthy because too many people are not seeing that their words have real life consequences and for clicks and likes and giggles people are positioning themselves as leaders thought leaders and guru and relationship coach and experts and all of this stuff but not understanding that a mentality that you're planting that someone else and i spoke about this in another video should be objectified because the value is in being a man or the value is in having money or the valuing is, is in being of a certain class that means in the mind of the person that other person whether it be a child or a woman or or somebody of another a racial group doesn't have as much value to you so then that gives the person the right to oppress you to um be violent to act out if you knew the person if you can say you knew the person was going to keep messing with you the go-to would be you go your way and i'll go mine the same way you met the person the same way you can separate from the person how did you get to taking this woman's life choking her and killing her ultimately how did you get to that is what there's a piece of, i'll say this this piece of the story missing i know this is a little like two three minutes this story sounds wholly like swiss cheese there's more to this story but the other person is dead and we're not going to hear it but in this case he admitted it so he's going to jail and this is something it's very sobering and it's something for us to consider as we're having these real and present conversations that not all the time we're sprinkling the seed is it's putting it on stable ground some people who are destabilized with the information that we're putting out there you have to have some type of warning label like when people take drugs or medication there's a warning label right if you have these already existing preconditions you have to be careful so it is when we're giving advice or sharing words and our thoughts so with that thank everybody for tuning in we'll come back again and have another word noteworthy session if you disagree agree put it respectfully